Hey, what's up, my two little tattle tales? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you've been watching the news, Kim Kardashian has been losing her M at the mind. First, there are Kim, how she was making her money before she got with Kanye and he elevated her. Then we're talking about this, then we're talking about that. Y'all, forget all that. We need to talk about what's going on with North and those TikToks. And baby, are we seeing exactly what Kanye was talking about? come to life but why is this happening now and why is the TikToks ramping up because Kanye is on the verge of his comeback y'all people are saying he is working on his new album Kim is going into overdrive to do what she can to mess with his piece that these reports can be believed y'all let's get into this gossip because woo now first of all right where y'all want to start at the TikTok with Ice Spice or y'all want to talk about what's going on with Bianca and Kanye, all right? Okay, let's start off with Kanye. Then we're gonna talk about Ice Spice. And before y'all start, yes, I am a member of the Spice Cabinet. I love Ice Spice so much. Her energy, her vibe, her beauty, everything, her talent, right? However, Kim Kardashian, you are Norse mommy. You know, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second because you got a nine-year-old singing about big booty buns and all this other stuff. What? It's just inappropriate. And when I say inappropriate, listen, everybody raises their children the way they want. Some people might think that song's appropriate. Some people don't. I'm not commenting about whether you think her song is, no. I'm talking about the fact that you, you know Norse daddy and you know what he doesn't like. And you know what sends him in a tailspin. Anybody, any of his kids, especially his daughters, being exposed to over whatever. Why is it I think? because he's admitted and we've seen he has a corn addiction you know what I'm talking about so I think anything that goes to something that kind of sucked him in he's super super sensitive it would be the same way around you dating somebody as a recovering alcoholic and you being like it's Christmas they're 14 let them have a sip of wine meanwhile they're freaking out because they're like no it's a gateway it's a gateway so that's what I mean about it. So don't come for the song. We're not talking about the way you raise your children, what you think is good, what you think is not good. However, you know this is going to make her daddy lose her his mind. So why are you trying to make him lose his mind? Well, guess what? Kanye's been focusing on a new album, and that's helping him stay sh on the straight and narrow. Kanye is officially working on a new album. Remember, Bound to Fallen in Love. Remember Bound to You, where he made that, that film about how Kim Kardashian's face is the eighth wonder of the world and all this other stuff? Yeah. Bianca is about to be immortalized. Everything that Kim had, everything that Kim used to hold herself above everybody, everything that Kim used to separate herself is now going to be given to Bianca. Does that make Kim even less special? It doesn't. You still were the first Mrs. West. You got the four kids. You got all this. But you guys have to understand, at least in my opinion, the way Kim's mind seems to work. Again, it's all my opinion. Go watch my old videos and do your own research. Make up your own mind. But in my opinion, the way Kim's mind seems to work is she takes great pride in being the only one. Great pride. And the fact that Bianca is about to get Kanye her star is going to be elevated. Bianca is well educated. She's beautiful, but she is also a super kind, sweet person that everybody has great things to say about her. But not only that, when it comes to these artistic conversations that Kanye had kind of been starved with when he was with Kim, it seems like Bianca can actually fill that void. So the fact that you might be like, okay, well, I'm still the first Mrs. West. I don't care. That's you to other people who thrive and have this weird ego about the being the best, the first, the only. This is a big thing. You know what's happening. The album's coming. Kids are coming sooner or later. And get this, right? They're saying marriage looks good on Kanye West. Since tying the knot with Bianca Sinceri in January, Kanye is back to acting normal again, okay? Um, noting that Bianca has had a calming effect on the troubled on, on, on Kanye, right? I'm not going to call him a tribal rapper about because they do that to drag him. An insider previously told Us Magazine that pals are unsure if Bianca and Sensori's union is legal, although it is very real to them. 
who are these pals? Are there, does, it, does their name start with a, K, a K? And the last name starts with a K too? Anyway, right? Kanye has stopped lashing out publicly and privately toward people. And that's the most important thing, how Kim knows it's real. See, here's the funny thing. Y'all kept assuming that Kim wanted Kanye calm. She didn't. Don't you realize that Kanye acting a fool, being obsessed with her, going in her, don't you realize that was part of her storyline? Because as soon as he started acting, the way, it's like my dad always said, right? When someone keeps fussing at you, ah, da, 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 da. you know what you do? And you care about them. Do you know what you do before you completely cut them off? You lean into it. You want me to be calmer? I'll be calmer. You want me to be this? I'll be that. You want me to do this? You give them everything they're asking for. If they're still fussing or if they still have a problem, that's when you know this issue is not with me. It's not in my actions. It's not anything I can change. This issue is something that you have in your mind. And you know what? I don't want to be a part of it. Hit me up when you're done and you free up some mental space. All right? So anyway, the fact that Kim was fine for Kanye lashing out. Okay? She was fine because it really did. Kardashians were excited. People were interesting. Kim was able to play the victim. And what Ray J can be, uh, says can be believed, Kim played the victim in American television for almost 10 years as a survivor of revenge and all this other stuff. Think about it. Kim loves playing the victim. That's, that, that's her little niche, right? They said Kanye has stopped lashing out publicly and privately toward people. That means he is no longer lashing out at Kim. He's no longer angry at Kim. He has 100% accepted the breakup and he just wants peace with everyone. He's, listen, they said it's a, and get this, it's a sigh of relief for Kim Kardashian. Kim is really happy with the change. Kim went on record, her people went on record a source saying that Kim is really happy with the change. Yeah, Kim that you're super, super happy. That's why you're literally putting up Match.com profiles, the equivalent of it, in every major publication, letting people know that you are single, ready to date, and you want a finance guy. You're swan. That's why you're taking swipes at Pete. You know what's so interesting that I thought? You know that rumor that Pete Davidson had a, a, had something with Ice Spice? And everybody is like, that's clearly a rumor. And Pete came in and shut it down. I find it odd. Let's get back to this Ice Spice thing that Kim is now posting pictures of Ice Spice on her Instagram, almost as if she's goading Keith Pete, if she did plant the story, to let him know, yeah, it was me, and I'm still messing with you, because Pete and Chase are getting super, super serious, and they stay on super duper vacations that Pete's paying for, because word on the curve is, right, that Kim was the one that paid for all their luxury vacations, right? And all he had to do was get her uh, some ice cream from TikTok. But let's get into the ice spice thing, right? Because I agree with what Trey's on Twitter said. He said, for those that don't get it, nine-year-old singing about boys wanting to rump and having big boobs and a plump B and a plump behind while Spice, right, was doing her little wine. It is people, Kanye and people will see that it's inappropriate. For the people saying we were all singing songs like this when we were 12, yeah, true. However, right? That doesn't make it any more inappropriate to Kanye. When you, it's like literally you have babies by somebody that is super religious. And I'm not saying Kanye's super religious, but just him, and likes for people to dress modestly. And they have told you that a million times. And they are a little girl. Why when he is coming to peace, when he is rebuilding, when, and again, Kim doesn't owe Kanye anything because I'm sure they had their mess that happened in their marriage. I'm not getting into that. I'm just saying, can we see that she is antagonizing him? Now, she might have her personal reasons. She might be like, baby, you antagonized me for nine years. I'm going to antagonize you now. But can we all agree that it appears that she is using their offspring to antagonize their dad? Just like as much as she's like, oh my God, I just want the best for everyone. You were using Pete to antagonize Kanye, even letting him make jokes about the father of your children in a Netflix special that will be immortalized. Anyway, right? Again, there is nothing wrong with Spice. We stand Ice Spice. She is an icon. Yes, this early, I think this girl's gonna have longevity. Her aura, the way she is, her style, her flow. I'm a big fan of Ice Spice. So this, please, this is nothing against her, but Kim inviting an adult icon for a play date 
with her nine-year-old daughter is more the issue here and exactly what Kanye wanted to avoid. This is Ocean Grown tra Trays, T-R-E-E-Z, trademark Ocean Grown Trays on um, Twitter. Let me go follow him. Hold on really quick. Yeah, Ocean Go Trades, T R E E Z. Go follow. Give him a follow. Because then they tried to jump into his mentions um, with uh, anti woman stuff. And he was like, bro, what you talk about? Like, we're not doing that here. I, I, He's like, I don't talk to extremists. Just keep it real, right? Anyway, um, let's get back into this. Let's see. Somebody jumped in, Luna, that said, Bet you money you were listening to music about people murking each other when you were 10. The same way I was. Don't be a hypocrite. He said, okay, I'll give it to you. But did my mama pay to have those rappers come to my crib and perform songs with me? Songs with me. And the Luna said, bro, you act like you never wanted to be an artist you like. I bet you have to meet and greet. Stop focusing on I Spice so much and saying Kanye is right when he's quite literally... Uh, anyway, we don't need to get into that. Again, this is nothing against Ice Bite. She is amazing. This has to do with Kim literally looking like at this point, she is doing everything she can to antagonize Kanye. As much as she begged to plead it for some peace, it seems like she don't like the new Ye. She don't like the Kanye. She don't like the connected, the organized Kanye. She doesn't like the collected Kanye. She has been ramping, ramping, ramping up. And now she has gotten to his number one trigger, which is his children. I pray, I pray, I pray that Bianca is sitting there being like, baby, no, 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 no. Let's just call the lawyer, call the lawyer. Please don't say anything. Let's just call the lawyer. Y'all, listen, let me know what you think in the comments. Again, what does it say that, you know, Kanye being crazy all happened? In, no, you know, that's not fair. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. Again, we love Ice Spice. That video, that song is bomb. I know kids are all over TikTok. But we also know who North Daddy is. And we know that when you do these things, and an argument could be made that for a nine-year-old, that song is just like a little bit too grown. But then again, let me know what y'all think, okay? And I will talk to you in the, com in the comments. Yeah, I will talk to you in the comments. Bye.